I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to use special triangles and write general solution for the given equation. So the equations which I am taking are really values of trigonometric ratios. Whenever you solve the equation at the end what we need to calculate is the value of the ratio right or the angle corresponding to it. So the equation here is sin x equals to minus square root 3 over 2 and we have a very general equation cos x equals to minus square root 2 over 2. We will try to see how to find their solution and write them in general terms. So these are special triangles. Let me sketch one for you. Which is square root 3 over 2. That means we are looking into 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? So that is 90 and this side is 60 degrees that is 30 degrees and the sides are 1 2 square root 3 so that is 30 60 90 triangle the other one as you know is a 45 degrees triangle so those of you who are working in radians can also write in radians which is pi by 4 for 45 correct so this is 45 degrees 45 degrees the sides are well uh, we can use the sides as square root 2 square root 2 and 2. So these are the sides. Well at times we also use the same triangle. Let me draw one here again where we say that the sides are this is let me write pi by 4 here that is 45 degrees 1 1 square root 2 right. So both are equivalent triangle. The only thing is that I have multiplied each side by square root 2. So when I multiply 1 by square root 2 I get square root 2. When I multiply square root 2 by square root 2 I get 2 right. So, so they are equivalent triangles. Now when you have a trigonometric ratio like this sine equals to minus of this then what should you do? We have to see that in the domain of 0 to 2 pi or in the domain of 0 to 360 degrees we will have two solutions for this right so all you know are positive here in quadrant 1 in this quadrant sine is positive in this quadrant tan is positive and in this quadrant cos is positive some of you remember is as all silver teacup cost rule right the others can remember like this any way you want to remember but sin x is negative in two quadrants that is to say they are negative in quadrant 3 and 4 that means we have this particular triangle in these two quadrants strategy here is first always make a special triangle that is the first step second step is figure out which quadrant we are looking for so in this case it is quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 so this is step number one, right? So let me write one here, step number two, which quadrant? And step number three is find related acute angle. Now what does that mean? That means we know all are positive in quadrant one. So don't find minus square root three over two, just find what is sine x equals to with positive sign, that is square root three over two. Try to get your answer in quadrant 1. I know that is not required, but it is helpful. So if you look into your special triangle, sine is basically opposite over hypotenuse, correct? So square root 3, the opposite side, is opposite to 60 degrees. Hypotenuse is 2, and therefore we can say, well, x should be equal to 60 degrees, right? 60 degrees. So that is what you get when you work in degrees. Those of you who are working in radians will get pi by 3 as their answer. Let me write both. Now, the thing is, we really are interested in solving a question which says sine of x is minus square root 3 over 2. That means that it is negative in quadrant 3 or 4 because that is a y value, right? So that y value is negative in quadrant 3 or 4. So we are looking for 60 degrees with the acute angle in quadrant 3 or 4. That is what we are looking for. Do you see that? So by finding related acute angle, we know exactly what angle to look for. This angle. But the answer should be written in principal angle. Do you understand? So the x is the principal angle, which means 
x should be written as so i should have written here not x but let me write this because i wrote x here let me change it let me write this as a acute angles so we say a equals to 60 degrees so what i'm saying here is that this angle is a for us which is equal to 60 degrees what we need to find is sin x equals to negative of square root 3 over 2 which is possible in coordinate 3 or 4 so one of them should be 180 plus 60 the other should be equal to let me write x1 here and x2 as this much do you see that that is 360 minus 60 degree do you see that so so 180 minus 60 you can use your calculators is 120 degrees and this one is 300 degrees do you see that so that is the solution when we say we are treating 0 to 360 or one circle now the question here is to find general solution so how do you get general solution from here we get general solution from knowing the fact that sine and cosine functions are periodic and they repeat after every 360 degrees right so to give a general solution you do plus n times 360 do you understand 360 times 1 360 times 2 360 times like that so time plus n times 360 so that gives you the general solution do you understand so that becomes your general solution so these are my two roots i should say two solutions for the given ratio sin x equals to minus square root 3 over 2 in general form i hope you understand and appreciate the steps correct now i like you to follow the same steps and find the solution for the next one okay you can pause the video answer it here is my quick solution to the same thing so it is first look for quadrant cos is negative where all are positive here sine is positive here tan is positive here cos is positive there so cos is negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3 but what should we do first first let's find the acute angle do you understand a so we say cos of a let me write big a this time is equals to square root 2 over 2 using this triangle we know a is equals to 45 degrees right but we need in these two quadrants that means we are looking for a solution which is like this so we need to find what this angle is we know x1 the solution is 180 minus a right so it is 180 minus 45 degrees and the other solution is 180 plus a so x2 is 180 plus 45 degrees do you get the point you can use your calculator and calculate 180 minus 45 is equals to 135 and 180 plus 45 is equal to 225 both are in degrees right you can also work in radius it is pi by 4 and you take away pi by 4 from pi or add pi by 4 to pi so that becomes a specific solution within the interval of 0 to 360 degrees the general solution will be now let me write down the general solution since you know it repeats after 360 degrees we can write answer in general solution as x1 equals to 135 degrees plus 360 degrees n times or 225 degrees plus 360 degrees n times where n belongs to integers right let me write it here also n belongs to integers so that is how we write general solution general solution means taking advantage of the fact that these periodic functions repeat and their period is 2 pi or 360 degrees so they will come to the same point after one full circle that is multiples of 360 degrees right so that is how you can write general solution for a trigonometric ratio using special triangles and that is also the exact value right the exact value in angles okay so i hope you understand and appreciate this concept thank you and all the best